Praxis Prepper. Hey everybody, this is Praxis, and I'm here at the original homestead. The place is still here. Uh, Amber's been utilizing it while she's been going to university, uh, but right now it's the holiday break season, and she's down at Red House with us, and this place has been vacant for the past two weeks. It's going to be vacant for several more weeks until she comes back, starting up the next semester. And we all just came up here uh, for two reasons. One is I'm still pulling things out, so I'm packing up the car with some more things. and bring bringing my very large plant today, which is going to be kind of difficult. It's enormous and it's cold outside, so there's a lot of logistics uh, associated with getting that into the car and not having it die and everything when we move it. Uh, but uh, on top of that, I also wanted to come here and just do some basic winterization of the house. I'm not going to be blowing the pipes out with the compressor or anything like that, but I figured I might as well drain the pipes a little bit. I have a little spigot in the basement where I can kind of do some draining and just get less fluid in the pipes. I don't think there's going to be a freezing problem. I've walked away from the house in the middle of winter for a week and a half once when there was a blackout. Didn't have any Ill, Ill effects. Every time I came back and checked, the house was all, always in kind of the low 40s uh, area. So it doesn't seem like we're actually going to get down to freezing and be a problem. But I figured, why not? But one problem that we did come back to when we came here is the refrigerator freezer. This was the only thing that was left on in the whole house. We just left this one circuit on. And ironically, this is a thing that we had a problem with, even though it was kind of cold in here. You'd think that that wouldn't be an issue. It's like, you know, the refrigerator is barely having to work. And it wasn't that we had a blackout or anything like that. The problem is the cold itself. And this is something that I've heard about in the past, but I've never actually experienced it myself. And uh, the issue is that many, most, refrigerators and freezer units have trouble operating in a low temperature environment. And that seems kind of strange to me. It might be kind of counterintuitive. The basic idea of a refrigerator is that it's a heat pump. It's gathering heat from the inside, transferring it to coils on the outside, and, you know, blowing it out into the, uh, the living space of the house. You would think, you know, you'd be incorrect, but one might think that having colder air around the refrigerator would uh, add efficiency to that transfer. The heat would, you know, vent off you know, very quickly and easily, and it would just be really easy for the refrigerator to function. But in reality, that's not always the case. And that wasn't the case here. We came back and the lights were all on. I, I turned the breaker off to it um, last night, but the lights were all on, but everything in the freezer was, it's all mush. Uh, and let's see, I haven't smelled these yet. They Actually, these smell fine. I think everything's probably pretty fine in there because it's only been a few days and it has been kind of a refrigerator environment, but obviously this stuff is headed for going bad because, you know, it's supposed to be frozen and it's not being frozen anymore. So we're going to salvage what we can out of here, but it's a good lesson and I wanted to share it with you guys that one of the, the greatest enemies of a refrigerator and a freezer actually is cold. That Okay, there may be things that are more of an enemy, like, like, Someone with a chainsaw or a wrecking ball might be more of an enemy of a refrigerator than the cold, but certainly the cold is not a friend of the refrigerator when there's too much of it around it. So I want to share that with you guys. If part of your plan for you know extended power outage or anything like that is thinking, well, my refrigerator shouldn't be a problem because it's going to be kind of cool. I'll have it in a cool space. It won't take much electricity. Think again. That can actually be a problem for refrigerators. Uh, and... Uh, you know, I don't, I'm not throwing a solution to you, but, it, you know, the, the first step in finding a solution for your particular situation is being aware that there's a problem in the first place. So there you go. Please subscribe and tune in every Friday at 4.30 New York time for a new video. And if you'd like to support this channel, you can do so both through Patreon or PayPal.